Hello and welcome to our session on CNI Custom Networking for Amazon EKS. One of the main benefits of using containers is the ability to scale, but it also brings some operational challenges, specifically on the networking side. By default, when, a, when new NICs are allocated for pods, IP addresses are allocated from the subnet of the node's primary NIC. A couple of challenges with this approach. Number one, there is a limited number of IP addresses in the subnet, and as you keep scaling, you'll run into an IP exhaustion scenario. And number two, as per the security best practices, the pods must use a different security groups and subnets than the node's primary network interface. One of the best possible solutions to these challenges is the custom CNI capability for Amazon EKS. This allows users to configure a private subnet for pods which are completely agnostic of the node's primary network. Think of this as a secondary seeder block. In this video, we will demo how customers can use Rafay's Kubernetes operations platform and build Amazon EKS clusters with custom CNI capability. To do this, let's go ahead and start with the clusters tab on Rafay's operations console and start by creating a new Amazon EKS cluster. Let's give it a name and hit continue. Now let's pick various configuration options for your cluster. As you go to the cluster settings, you will find VPC and subnets. Here you can either use Rafay's auto create mechanism or pick your own existing VPC and subnets, which we will start with. Then the most important step of the demo. Under CNI providers, select AWS CNI and click on customers, customize AWS CNI. And here, let's pick the use your own uh, CNI and fill in the details. But for demo purpose, let's actually go back and use the auto create mechanism, which makes it so easy for users to create the subnets and VPCs. With the same option, now under Customize CNI option, enable the customized Custom CNI and select Auto Create CNI followed by a desired Custom CNI seeder block. Hit Save and your cluster is ready to be provisioned. Once you provision the cluster and the workloads, let's switch to AWS console to check the network properties of this cluster. As you click on the VPC configuration under networking tab of the EKS cluster, you will notice that there are two seeder blocks and one of them being the custom CNI seeder block you specified while creating the EKS cluster. Now let's switch back to Rafay's ops console and launch a zero trust coop cuttle command line to check the details of all the pods that are running on this cluster. As you can see from the results, we have the workload parts assigned IP address from the secondary custom CNI seeder block. And that is how you leverage the Amazon EKS custom CNI networking capability. Thank you for watching.